In this video I will show you how to configure Mumble, especially for voice conferencing as in meetings. Mumble is a free voice chat program and I have to say it's quite good. I've tried out a few and in the end I like it the most. Also note that I'm using Windows XP, so if you are using Windows 7 things will look a bit different I guess. When Mumble started for the first time it will pop up the audio wizard. This actually does a great job configuring it properly, so let's open it. We choose configure from the menu and choose audio wizard. There. Note the introduction. Um, we press next. Now it's time to select an input and output device. When they are correctly configured, you will hear yourself speaking. By the way, you might get a pop-up that you will need to select at least two audio devices, but we'll just ignore that for now. The import devices. We select direct sound from system in the drop-down. As for device, you might see multiple options. Select the device your microphone is connected to. As for the output device, again direct sound and select the device your headphone is connected to. Disable positional audio, this is used for games and you will not need it for voice conferencing. If you do not hear yourself speaking at this point, there might be some settings wrong from either one of the devices. We open the Windows Mixer. We go to Options, Properties and select the device you are using. Um, first playback. Um, you might want to select some of these checkboxes here. There we are. If this is your output device, make sure the volume is unmuted and loud enough. Well, I'll just keep it low for myself. Now we check the same for recording. Again, you might need one to select these checkboxes. Now check that microphone is selected and that you actually connected your microphone to the right input at your computer. Also check that the volume is open. You should now be able to hear yourself talking. We keep this window open because we will need it later on. We go to the next step. You will hear someone speak. You move the slider left till it starts to sound all scrambled up. And then we move one back to the right. There. Next step. This one is very important. This will make sure the sound levels are spot on. It tells us to speak loudly as if we were annoyed or excited. And we have to uh, make sure that the green bar is completely filled at the loudest point. Not go into the red area. We open again the recording settings. And check this slider right here. Actually you should also 
uh, check the microphone boost. But you should only use it when your microphone is really quiet. It can easily be too loud. Um, I choose to disable it actually. Um, so now I will check uh, the volume settings. I will speak loudly as if I were annoyed or excited. Well, that looks about right. Um, well, you could also see... Uh, the volume now is not loud enough. And the volume now is uh, spot on. Alright. Next is moving the slider to the point where the green bar sits when you're not speaking. Um there check also if it works if you speak um not as loudly um yeah that that works i guess When you're having problems that you will hear yourself even if the wizard is done, do the following. We go to the mixer again and choose for playback settings of the device you're using. And we make sure that the microphone is muted at playback. We go to the next step, voice activation. When you are in a noisy environment you might choose push to talk, otherwise I really recommend signal to noise ratio, um, it, it, it works really well. You can adjust it a bit with this slider, um, make sure it does what it says uh, right above it. Next, network and quality settings. Uh, this depends on two things, your own connection and that of the other participants. Balanced will do great generally. If someone gets stuttering you should all switch to low. If you all have a great connection you could give high a go. Oh, um, do disable uh, text to speeds. It's it's a bit annoying, really. Okay, next. Um, yes, well, um, just read it and uh, choose for yourself. Um, well, this concludes the audio uh, wizard actually. So you're all set. Um, oh yes, if you are using uh, Mumble for the first time, it will also come up with the certificate wizard. You just create a new one and press next a few times and well, um, yeah, well, it's not, not really that important, but it will make a certificate that will uh, make sure that you can connect to a server and also register yourself to the server, so everything uh, should be fine. Now you can connect to a server. Well, that's uh, that concludes this uh, tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it uh, helps you. Have a nice day.